A good morning. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau with your fast cast digital headlines for this Wednesday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following. There were some big items on last night's agenda and a special meeting. The Anchorage Assembly tackled two major issues, helping those experiencing homelessness in Anchorage and aiding our housing crisis through more housing options. In a 10 to 1 vote, the Assembly approved $1.5 million in alcohol tax revenue to help transition 150 homeless people from shelters into more permanent housing under the Anchored Home Home next step pilot program. Assembly member Felix Rivera hopes this will help take pressure off of often full or at capacity emergency shelters in the city. Uh, by the time our emergency cold weather shelter closes um, that we're going to house 150 individuals and uh, decompress um, one of the locations for emergency cold weather shelter um, so that hopefully we have a much easier transition out of emergency cold weather shelter. So I think it's important. The Assembly also unanimously passed an ordinance to amend municipal code to reclassify triplexes as residential construction instead of commercial. This is to relax requirements and encourage more residential construction in the city. There have been criticisms about the changes that more triplexes in the city would not reduce costs to renters because they would be expensive and more residential units would create parking problems. Assembly Chair Chris Constant said those criticisms are from people in specific neighborhoods and these changes would potentially benefit the whole city. Vice Chair Meg Zolotel also talked about benefits of the changes. I think it's really clear it's an assembly priority um, and recognition we're in a housing crisis and so we're trying to remove all regulatory barriers that stand in the way of the development of housing really at all price points quite frankly um, whether that's from a land use perspective a building perspective we're really trying to be creative and holistic in that approach. I don't think I support uh, this most recent change though is just because I don't understand the consequences of what we might be mandating here. Um, and while I think it's well intentioned, I mean, I don't know what the second order effects might be, right? And the Anchorage Museum is pausing its new admission fee policy. That policy allowed Alaska Native visitors to get free general admission. The museum is doing this so it can make sure the program is implemented in the best way. It remains committed to honoring Indigenous people as well as improving access to the cultural belongings. And as you start to get those W-2s in the mail, remember if you want to get your taxes done early, the IRS will accept annual returns starting Monday, January 29th. Taxpayers have until April 15th to get their taxes in. The IRS estimates about 128 million returns will be filed this season and say most taxpayers get their refunds within 21 days of filing. And those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Wednesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.